making a new project in Visual Studio. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top menu up here and click File, New Project. Alternately, you can click the New Project link on the uh, home screen. This is this option here, and it will go off and build a new project file for us. But we need to tell it which language we're going to do. So on the left hand side, we're going to choose Visual Basic. In the center, we need to ch make sure we've chosen the Windows Form Application option. Down the bottom here, where it says Name, we're going to type in the name of the um, example. So this is WS Example in this case. We click OK, and it will then go off and build the new project. And the important thing to remember is the project at this point is not saved and when it's just built this new project you must not write any code or do any design work until you save the project file. So to save the project file you're going to go to the, um, the icons here and choose this one with the double disks to save the project. The save project menu comes up, check the name at the top, that's correct, check the name at the bottom, that should match the one at the top. And in the middle this is the folder under which you're going to save all your work, that should point somewhere on your home drive. I'm doing this on a computer that doesn't have an H drive though, so it's going to say to E programming courses bin. Uh, make sure this option here is ticked, so it says create directory for solution and click save. And that will save the project. So now I'm, that's going off and making all the folders to put all the Visual Basic bits and pieces in. Over at the bottom, I'm going to click on the form now here because I need to next save the form file. So first of all, I need to rename it. So I cl click on the form and then scroll up to the top of the properties down the bottom right-hand corner here where it says name. And I overtype that with the correct name, which is FRMWS example. I'm using camel case combination of upper and lower case to make it nice and easy to read. Scroll down to the bottom and you're going to find a property called text. And you're going to overtype that. It's currently called form one. This is going to be called uh, VB example and when I press enter you'll notice that the caption on the form up here this is changed to be VB example go to the file menu click on save form one dot VB as and then on this on this next dialog box that comes up here uh, don't change the folder at all just over type this with frm ws example press enter and the form file is saved. You'll notice when this happens, the name of the form file over here changes. We're now ready to start um, writing the program. Before you do though, just one last check. Press the start button up here at the start of the screen and Visual Basic, uh, Visual Basic should now build a basic simple little program. I should have said Visual Studio will build a basic little, simple little program. Uh, make sure this program runs before you start writing any code. If it doesn't run at this stage, um, you need to throw this project away and start again because uh, something's gone wrong with the saving process.